Hello, hello everybody, welcome back to Third Total War Divide and Conquer, this is a Kingdom of Dale campaign and in today's episode we're going to be looking at taking Rubar from the Runic Clans. Um, before I do that however, I do want to get one of my ships on the move back towards Dale, I've just thought of, I sort of come up with a plan yesterday. Um, I'm going to get one of these ships back there and by the time it gets back I will hopefully have um, some kind of force that I can use to bring down this way and just continuously supply the invasion of Rune. So um, just going to go back up there grab some extra troops. Um, I think what I might do is once I've taken Rubai, if I head for El Gaia and then sort of pause there and then try and wait for my reinforcements to arrive and just basically hold my ground as much as possible, I think that's probably going to be um, ideal. I'll move these two units across to Rubar since they're not getting free upkeep, so I might as well get them across and then obviously I've got my ships patrolling around this little sea here as well so um, that is the plan but anyway before we can do that we must take Elgaia uh, sorry uh, Rubar two Easterling defender units seven attack for 13 defense that's gonna be painful we've got some clan guard we've got these guys Dragon's Wrath Gilsman, 15 attack, 23 defense. Oh dear, this is really not going to be a fun one. I've got quite a few archers though. Look at that, their strength is... Its strength ratio is 2 to 1 in their favor. Before I attack though... Okay, no reinforcements can arrive for a turn, so I might... Okay, I might siege them for another turn. Let them let their numbers drop a little bit further, and then we'll attack. <coughs> really don't like the look of those uh, dragon guildsmen people. Really don't like the look of them. <laughs> but I don't think that's a very common bodyguard for a rune general. So I think once we kill off this general, that will be it for those guildsmen troops. Unless of course they can recruit guilds uh, dragons guildsmen as a as a normal infantry unit separately to that. And the, the general just happens to be able to have them as his bodyguard. Either way, it's the only one that the runic clans have at the moment. So once we get rid of him, yes, my lord. Without question, all is good and right with the world. Okay, so we've got 1,400 in, in our treasury. 1400 per turn we're making actually, which is quite nice. Uh, let's get a fort thing there. Orders. Yes. Not much further to go. Oh, two more turns to surrender. Oh, screw that. We might as well just carry on then. Is it not obvious I am your foe? Ships ready. Leave me be. Three sh three people on board there. Yes, Can't see what the ship has. Leave me be. Ah, this is the one we damaged earlier with our other ship. We are victorious. Hello, Darwinian. We've uh, just cleared this area for you. Sink that ship because it had some troops on board. We are victorious. My ships are down to 60 upkeep for one, we can go now. Ships ready. and 102 for the other. Yes, sir. Full sail. A fine day to sail. It's kind of strange. I have a port here, but I can't. I can't recruit ships. <laughs> get this other boat heading up this way as well. They're both going to need retraining. Screw it, might as well carry on. Two more turns to surrender. And then we won't have to face off against the garrison. They can just attack us with what they have and it'll be a lot better. Assuming that no more reinforcements arrive at all. If any reinforcements look like they're heading on their way to Rhubarb, then we may have to attack this next turn. 
Otherwise, we'll just carry on with the turn flips. We'll wait them out. Normally, I'd have attacked by now, but as I, as we were looking earlier, their strength is a lot higher. And there's the extra reinforcements. Ah, okay. Problem. We are disgraced. Fall back and retreat. Pulling back from the walls. Well, if they're going to attack me, then by all means. So we've got two archers, we've got two clan warriors, one clan guard, one Kandish hunters. So we've got three enemy archer units against my three and a bit. <laughs> I've got my cavalry as well. I've got two javelins. My infantry is a bit battered though. <coughs> so this is not where I was expecting to be fighting. It's alright though, I've got um, those two extra units in Winterian that we can move across. Plus the the uh, Barding Herd are on their way over as well, so. If we win this one, we can always reinforce. Actually, even if we don't win this one, we can always reinforce. Right, so I'm going to pull back over this way a bit. Nice little hilltop side. Got my archers there. Got my infantry there. Put my javelins in front of them. I'm going to have my cavalry all the way over here. I didn't look to see which one the captain was in. Oh, it's the clan guard. Okay. It's the clan guard. So if we can run that ca this general down quickly, that'd be really good. Right. Let's see if we can get this captain. In the charge. Yes, we can. Perfect. There's a tactic we've, I've done already once before in a previous battle that worked out quite well. We're going to lose a few cavalrymen here, but we've killed the captain, so hopefully... I've got two men stuck there. Oh, they both escaped. Well, one of them's escaped. The other one is trying to escape through the pile. There we go. All right, that's the captain down. Looks like my longbowmen are doing whatever damage they can right now. They're doing quite a bit of damage, which is good. We lost, what was that, two cavalrymen? Yeah, and we got the captain as well. Perfect. Didn't take out that many of the uh, clan guard, though. Clan warriors, sorry. Archers hold fire. Pull back. So I'm going to bring my cavalry back this way. We're going to keep my cavalry out of the way for a moment. Javelins are getting ready to throw in a minute. In fact, they are throwing in a minute. Whoa, what are you doing? Come on. There we go. Right, 
Run, you fools. Okay, right. Cavalry. Go for the Candish Hunters. Okay, archers. Now, let's take two of you off to the right. We'll put one off on the left. We'll take these javelins over here as well. Oh, whoops. Should have paid more attention. I'm going to lose a lot of cavalry there. Oh, that's going to be painful. Right. He's trying to get around <laughs> those enemy units there. Luckily, those clan warriors aren't actually doing that well against my axemen, but I'm going to support my guys. Right, javelin in the back of them. Down to 73. Ah, screw it. We'll turn these uh, javelins around and get them to throw into this clan warrior unit. Oh, look at that. Clan guard are routed. Right, spears. Charge. Axes, charge. Nice. Candace Hunters, go. We're running everything down we can. We are losing a fair bit of cavalry, but oh well. The enemy army <coughs> Excuse me. And run them down. Right, let's go, Cav. You got a lot of troops to run down over there. So go for this furthest group. It's Candish Hunters. And run down this lot. Look at our prisoner number just charging straight up there. Oh, here's the edge of the map. Get the clan warriors. And the uh, clan guard. Kill that one guy there. There's some more people over there, 24 of them. We'll get those in a second. Oh, I was gonna say, I thought uh, I st told them to start running away from him a little bit too soon. I thought they'd already killed him, but they hadn't. Okay, these last few guys, 490 prisoners, now up to 514. Boom. This is a great victory, worthy of only the mightiest of generals. Not bad at all. Look at that. Casualties inflicted. Everyone except the Predator Axeman getting double figures. Uh, casualties healed, not too many, but enough. <clears throat> 107 for the Royal Archers, though. I don't know how you've managed to get more kills, but oh well. Uh, the Yeoman, there we go. Prisoners caught, 431. Well done. Well done, team, well done. <coughs> A very good result. Now let's get back to uh, <laughs> sieging that town, shall we? Rubar. Well, what I might do first is I might hold on the 
Should I hold on the bridge or should I just go ahead and siege? I'm not sure. Uh, execute. I'm feeling particularly evil at the moment. Ah. They are building up their garrison. Their flag has increased in color size. Moria is under siege again. Oh, apparently the one ring is being located over there. Not that I have any interest in going for the ring. Again. Yes, my lord. Yeah, they've improved their garrison there. Okay, so what I might do then? Let's put you in there for the moment. We'll take these. Your orders, my lord. Right, let's hold on the bridge. I've got plenty of archers. I need more infantry, so I might take. So I take some extra spin. I'll go for the axe. The axe did pretty well. I might take some extra axe along with that cav unit. The barding herd will follow next turn because it's not got any movement points left. I've got all these troops to use up as well. In fact, I might as well take some of these guys. Uh, I might take the longbow and the spear. Drop them there. Uh, you are still heading back to Dale, I think. Oh, Esgroth, sorry. <coughs> so money-wise... Could, in, could get a town guard at Esgaroth. Ballista maker, stables. Ooh, what's that? I Hwotheodar horse guards. Ooh. And Dale cavalry. Ooh, I might go for a ca uh, stables. I haven't got a stables yet. That'd be quite cool. Yeah, so the enemy have got a few reinforcements on the way. This is a little bit annoying. Oh, I'd say a few. They've got multiple captains. Yes, my lord. Oh, I'll just I'll hold the bridge <coughs> and await my reinforcements. Ships ready. Do, 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 do. I can put the extra cavalry unit in there because he's got extra move points compared to the infantry. Versa Gath 983. Grasgard 1086. <clears throat> I'm wondering if I should maybe take a general next. To take one of my generals down from this fort down to Winterion. Probably might be a good idea, actually. Have an extra Royal Guards unit. Have I spoken to Dunland? I have. Whoops. Uh, how else do I get around there? Oh, there's a path over there. We'll go that way. Without question, I shall continue tomorrow. Uh, right. Yeah, trade rights. Cool. Okay, thankfully they didn't attack us while we were on the bridge. It means I can get all my troops there at the same time. And for good reason as well. Look at the size of this that they've just grouped up. So that might attack me on the bridge. If it does, beautiful. Really want it to because that would be great. Okay, yeah, we can get some four Axemen. 230 upkeep. 5 for 10. And it's only 10 more than the Dalesman Axe unit. And they probably and they have more attack and more defense. Huh. That's in Grasgard as well. Yeah, we've dropped in a lot other than population. Which is not very good, but can't really be helped at the moment. Retrain my bowmen. There's not really a lot that I can do at the moment. I'm try I'm still trying to wait on. I can get that. 
still trying to wait on my villagers to upgrade. 998, so that's nearly there. Aha! Barding herd. Perfect. Okay, so that ship's now done with its movements of my forces over there for the moment. It can go back for some retraining. I got now that I've got space in the fort, I might take I'm also gonna take my stronger units with me. 300, 305. Uh, I might leave those two there for the moment. I can't really afford to have 600 upkeep for two units suddenly pop out. 230. So that'd be 460, 690. 890, uh, 935, 935 upkeep for all of them. For three Athala Rangers and one Swordsman. Not to mention my general as well. Because uh, what I was thinking of doing was maybe taking a couple of units from here, maybe my Hearth, hearth Watchmen, and putting them down in this fort. And then the elite, the more elite units I can bring down in this direction and put somewhere. Where's my other spy as well? Ah, there he is. So Rune has got a general in the Dorwinian territory. Oh, hello. Rune has actually pushed Dorwinian back a bit by the looks of things. Because Dorwinian, I think, start with this area. Or this area might be rebel. Hmm. Unsure now. Tomorrow's your orders. As you wish. Without question. I shall continue tomorrow. That's a Misty Mountains territory there. Your orders, my lord. Come on, Rune, attack me on the bridge. Give me another victory. Ha! <laughs> uh, we may get another cross swords here. The icon on the map. All right, so 1829 versus 1743. What do they have? Uh, a lot of melee stuff, but they are going to be charging across a bridge. And I have three longbows, one hunter, and then my general to shoot them down with. And I've got all the reinforcements I brought across as well, plus my two javelins. I got a lot of missiles. They have one. Not including that. They've got one, one archer, one javelin. Sorry. And their captain is in a horse guards unit. Alright, let's make a quick save there. And let's jump in. Good thing is, if we clear this army out, Rubar should be undefended from now on. Like, no more reinforcements, as in... The uh, enemy general and his couple of units will be the only garrison there. None of my units can deploy stakes, which is kind of... Oh, wait. My general apparently can deploy stakes. Except he can't. What a load of rubbish. Those archers there. And you can see the difference between the two archers. These are the ones without the armor upgrade. <coughs> okay, my hunters in... in the Excuse me, in the center. My general there as well. Okay. Shield up. Uh, 
There we go. Got my axeman that we'll have on either side as well. Got my light units there. They're going to get wrecked, but oh well. We've got my barding herd as well. I put my axeman off the side slightly so that my javelins have got a free angle to shoot at. Got my two cav units. Alright. Actually, let's not have you two there. I don't want to lose them. They've done really well. They've got quite a lot of experience as well. That would just be wasteful. I'm not going to waste my javelins on these archers either. So. you think you're doing? Shooting your own men, you nits. Go for the pile there. Look how many of them are coming across that bridge. Oh, those guys are all routed. Hold your ground. Get javelins in there. Excellent stuff. Start changing targets. Right, you guys have used up your stuff, so pull out. We've already wiped out a quarter of them. One more volley from you guys. Lovely. Archers hold fire. Axeman. Get in there. Barding herd, get in there. You two, get in there. My spearmen are not holding very well now. The sheer weight of the enemy numbers is starting to uh, cause a problem. In fact, I might leave this side open for my archers. Move these archers into position. I'll get my axemen into the pile at another angle. Coming from the sides here, at the back bit. Alright, javelins get up there as well. Here comes the enemy general. Alright, let's get these two shooting at him. Get these two shooting into the pile. Oh, this is a this is a brilliant angle to shoot from. I'm gonna get my other three archers to stop shooting because we're likely gonna kill off some of the general as we fight as we shoot into the side here. Anyway, but it looks like we may get some friendly fire hits in here. Let's well, aim for the Baltroth tribesmen. They're right in the middle of the pile. Eighteen percent we've lost so far for forty of the enemies. I think we're gonna have to bring a lot of reinforcements from maybe uh, Winterian and the fort after this battle. The casualties are going up quite a bit. Archers, 
Alright, we've not got the angle for our archers anymore. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Uh cavalry. <coughs> we're gonna need some reinforcements over here for my archers. Charge in from behind with our cav. Hello. Oh, there goes a couple of them. Get the enemy general caught there. My entire mil my entire melee force is engaged right now. <laughs> the only one unit that isn't is this cavalry. That's it. What is that? Is that the arch unit that routed earlier? I think it is. Some cavalry in amongst the pile there. So, oh, there goes the enemy general. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. Lovely. So we should hopefully get some routing troops here in a second. Let's get my cavalry up ready. Oh, here we go. Here comes the mass route. Right, all units move in. Charge. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Kill them all. They're all routing. Oh wow, I've lost a lot of spearmen. They're down to 17 and 29. Wow. Look at those prisoner numbers are just shooting up. Yeah, I lost quite a lot of spearmen there. You can just see the majority of the pile on the floor is the spears. I need to get their armor upgraded. It worked well for my uh, town defense a couple of episodes ago. One man left. Just look at the mess on this floor. Oh my goodness. Oh, one guy glitched out. <laughs> 494. Wow. Highest killing unit was 115 for my Dalian Longbow. Nope. Take that back. 166 for my Barding Herd. I don't think I lost that many. Sustained 10 casualties for them. None of them healed. It's a pity. But a victory is a victory. Not get a heroic victory icon on the map. That's a pity. I thought that was a rather glorious battle there. Oh well. Finesse Drunin assaulted. Oh dear. The Dunedain are getting their asses kicked right now. To battle. We shall prevail. Yes. Just the general in there now. There's not another town over this way, is there? My lord. Don't think there is. Approaching quietly. Ships ready. Ships ready. Yes, sir. Full sail. Six hundred to retrain my boat. So let's do it. 
But I'm going to take these two spearmen on this, on this ship. These two are going to go down to the fort. Oh, we did get an icon. Yay! I like my icons. In fact, I can put a third unit in there now, so I might as well take those uh, Dalian swordsmen. I might take the general, actually. The general with two spearmen. I'm going to lose a bit of money on, in on income here, but it's not the end of the world. <clears throat> uh, farming complex, please. Or should I get one over there? In a town rather than a, in a fort. <laughs> Town's probably going to be better. Four turns to surrender for that, for Rubar. Yes, my lord. Ah, it's still an elven fort here. Possibly another proposition for us then. It's good to see until we Lovely. again. Without right. To the Dunedain. My lord. Approaching quietly. Approaching quietly. Approaching quietly. Mm, so it looks like Rune's picked up a bit of strength over on this flank against uh, against Dorwinian, so we'll send my spy around here just to make sure that Dorwinian hasn't lost uh, this castle, Karas Falathrim. Hopefully they haven't. If they have, we may need to think about sending some stuff to help them because uh, we can't lose Dorwinian against Rune, really. We need to try and keep them going. Yes, my lord. It's the only thing that's really helping me get through Rune's territories at the moment is the fact that the majority of their forces are distracted by their war with Dorwinian. So I'm able to hit this northern section without too much problem. Eleven oh eight, so we're close to being able to upgrade Grasgard. That'll be good. Bit extra money. Um Right, okay, so then next episode we will try and take Rubar then this time. And see if we can actually get through that. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I shall see you in the next episode.